Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Summer from Summer Moon Tarot. This is my very, very, very first video. So I'm still trying to work out the kings. Like for example, don't know which way to look because camera thingy majig is switched this way. So bear with me. Um, so today I'm doing a pick a card reading um, on what do you need to know right now, this very moment of what your angels, your guides, the divine, whichever that you believe in, and what kind of message that you need to hear today. So um, if you've never done a bigger card reading, no problem. I will guide you. Hold your hand or hold your hair or whichever. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and we'll get started. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and comment below. Um, you know, comment whichever you like. Maybe you dislike my dress, the way I look, or my hair, whatever people dislike nowadays. So, all right, let's go ahead, let's get started. Yay! All right, guys, so I have three piles here. Um, pile one, and that's with the red dahlia here. Pile two is with the rose, and pile three is with the passion flower. So what I would do is I would just take a few deep breaths and um, go ahead and try and meditate and see which pile calls to you. Um, just don't look, look at it by eye. I know like the passion flower is like, uh, I want that one if this is so pretty. If it calls you and your intuition calls for it, go ahead and select it. Um, if it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, just let it fly away. I will say this, sometimes it doesn't resonate with you now, but it does resonate with you later. So go ahead and just take a few breaths. You can use a pendulum if you like. And then we'll go ahead, we'll get started. Okay, for those who picked pile one with the red dolly here. We're gonna go ahead and start with the rider deck first. Seven of Pentacles. Death card in reverse. Justice card in reverse. Six of Wands. I'm gonna go ahead and just move this over so you could get a better view. And then lastly, the Knight of Swords. Okay. So what I'm picking up is is that you are working from looking at the Seven of Pentacles. Um, you see how kind of like looking over like the rewards um you know this beautiful bush here um and it looks like that you're working hard for for something this could be a could be a job or could be a person and it's like you're not really getting much of you're not getting so much out of it that's what I'm trying to get with with these two cards here especially the death and the justice card like sitting right next to each other you know, it's like you're working hard, you're busting, you're trying to get the satisfaction, and it's just this renewal is not picking up the way that you want it to. And um, especially with the Six of Wands here, how um, I don't know if you could if you could see. Actually, if it, you see it right side up, it's very beautiful, lovely guy. It kind of reminds me of, you know. Sorry, a little bit of medieval times going on here with the, the with the wands and the flowers. Got a little bit of um, uh, like flowers here at the bottom, but I feel like that you're putting so much emphasis into a person or a project, and it's like you're not getting anything out of it. And it's like kind of like you're you're stuck. Your emotions are all over the place. That's what I'm kind of getting with the with a little bit of the Knight of Swords. It's like you're kind of like quick acting and you're, you know, um, like jumping into things and kind of like saying things that you just don't mean. And um, it's it's like getting like a stronghold over you. You're like, listen, I put all of this work into this and yet I'm getting nothing out of it. What the hell is going on? And that's what I'm kind of feeling. You know what? You know, I think maybe it's, 
it's the the retrograde going on I mean this has been like a real crazy month and it's like you're all over the place you know it's you're, you feel like you're you're beating yourself down and yet you're not seeing the results from it uh, but at the same time I think that you know maybe you need to look at a bit of a bigger picture like the challenges that come into your life um, they're lessons learned right um, and I think that's what it's like kind of like reading to me a little bit like you know like for example for this one you know you see the the sun and the horizon kind of you know situation going on and I truly think that uh, it's just you're like oh I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel and that's nothing to worry about I mean that happens to everybody right Okay, so with your, sorry, I just like kind of bumped the camera over here. So with your angel oracle deck, you have clairvoyance, nurture, and overcoming difficulties. What did I just say? Ye shall overcome. Look at that with the, with the birds soaring up into the air, that beautiful colors in the background, you know, you got a little bit of darkness like within the mountains, it's not a problem, right? It's because um, it's saying here that the worst is now behind you and you are some surmounting some any previous challenges surmounting because I can't read today, go figure, okay? And you need to start to like take care of yourself. I think there's like a lot going on around you and you need to just focus on um, like how you're feeling, right? You know, so right here it says, nurture a child, nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So just like, don't forget that yes, there's other things going on around you that you need to start focusing on yourself. That's very, very, very important because this happens to me quite a bit where I'm, you know, that li just little bit of something like ruins my entire day, but yet at the end of the day, I don't tend to take care of myself. And I think that that's what needs to happen here. Clairvoyance, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And this is so awesome. And this plays into the nurture too. You really need to start focusing on, you know, not just spiritual insight, maybe some meditation, going out for long walks in nature or something, you know, like getting outside. Luckily for me, I live in the Pacific Northwest, so I mean, I can just like take a few steps to the left and to the right and be in a totally different place. And I think that's probably like what needs to happen to you is that you really need to start focusing on yourself. You know, you yourself, you're a priority. You can't take care of everyone else's problems unless you take care of yourself first. Okay, and then your last card here, the giraffe spirit. You can see here, seriously, I love the animal spirit deck, it's like, Amaze balls. All right, so giraffe spirit, see the big picture. What did I say earlier? You're just so caught up into what's going on and what's going on in the background and problems here, there, and the other, and the challenge. I honestly think that you really need to see the bigger picture here is because, you know, a little bit of challenges will come your way. And I look at those challenges as kind of like a blessing. You'll learn from it. And even though, yes, you probably hit a little bit of your bottom, right? Not like your literal bottom, but I mean like, you know, a little bit of rock bottom. You can go up from there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about this person or job or whatever is, is keeping you like constrained. You could definitely, definitely work on yourself, dude and just the giraffe sees everything that other animals can't see, period. Their necks are hella high and they can see beyond the horizon and guess what, you can too. Don't worry about it. You can worry about it now, but guess who gets to be filled with worry and you know, and can't and gets to suffer, and that's you. So just, you know, 
Focus on yourself. You got this. I got faith in you. You got it. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Group one. Um, if you have any comments, please go ahead and comment below. Um, if this resonates with you, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you so much. All right, group two, what's poppin'? You have the little rose here. It's actually one of my favorite flowers. It's just, it's just so pretty. Actually, let me go ahead and move this red dahlia out of the way in the background. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the writer deck first. Seven of Wands in reverse. I don't know if you could see that. Page of Cups. Two of Pinnacles. Knight of Cups. And Nine of Wands. I don't know if you could see this. I'm sorry if I bumped into that. Okay, so it looks like you're going through an emotional like time. It seems like let me just channel this in. So when I got the Seven of Wands in reverse, I see it as, okay, you're kind of going up against something and it looks like you're probably like getting out of it. There seems to be, a I feel like this involves a person. This involves a male, maybe. Not really much of a male, could be, um, uh, male energy per se could be female but it seems like they, there's a decision that you have to make and you know you have to choose it could be t between two people it could be between jobs I feel like that um, especially with the page of cups here see how they're like holding the cup um, outwards it's like it, you know you're very very hopeful I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, it's a little bit out of focus. All right. You know, like how they have it just out and you know, yes, this is this is mine, sort of sort of speak. But with the two of pinnacles, it looks like you either um am thinking about like leaving like a person um or having second uh thoughts about a person or even a job. Uh, maybe things are not really going your way and it's taking a bit of an emotional toll on you. Um, and that's what I kind of got from the Knight of Cups as soon as I saw it. It was like, you know, I keep, and this is what I kind of got the energy like from the first, um, the first group actually, the first pile, is that, you know, when you put something into um, a job or a person and you're like, okay, I kind of have to decide whether to go or to stay. Or even, I kind of even got that maybe that you have someone else, maybe that came into the picture and you kind of have to be decide between the two. No judgment here. No judgment. I mean, you can do what you want. Um, but that's what I kind of got is that uh, you're not entirely sure. You're kind of stuck. Let's call it is. You're kind of stuck, right? You're not sure if you can go left or right, up or down, and it's like it's winding you down. I, I kind of feel like a little bit of energy that you're, you know, you've been like pushing and fighting this, and you're, you're starting to get out of it, and you know, you are very hopeful, and you're hoping things would change around, and and um, and you're not entirely sure what exactly to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out your angel cards. All right. One, okay, so as <laughs> soon as I, I set this down, thing that popped out at me the most is courage. Be courageous and stand up for what your, what your beliefs are. I think that 
you seriously there's a little bit of sensitivity going on. Remember I said, you know, I think that maybe you're going through um, an emotional toll or something. Um, and you're, you're not getting the clarity that you want. But I think once you're able to, you know, pick up, I don't know, what's this saying back in the day? Um, pick up your, your, your skirts, pants whichever, I don't care what you wear. But you know, once you're able to have the courage and have your intentions on what exactly that you want to do, see here's this crystal clear intentions, you seriously need to sit down and be like, do, is this what I really want, right? You seriously need to come to a decision. That's so scary that this light popped up. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and move that over. You need to decide what you want. You know deep down inside what you want and you need to set your clear intentions. Maybe do, um, you know, just maybe some like candle magic. There's a lot of videos out there or, you know, writing down your intentions. But I think deep down inside, you know exactly what you want, right? We kind of like play with ourselves in our heads sometimes. But at the end of the day, we're like, you know, I, my, head and my heart going two different directions but something inside is telling me like you know um that this is the way that i want to go and then you will be victorious victory your prayers have been heard and answered have faith have a little faith in yourself you know sometimes like you don't know which way is the right or wrong way unless you know, you're able to dive a little bit deep and then just go ahead and just make the decision. But you got this. Seriously. You got it. Have a little bit of courage. Don't worry about it. I have faith in you. Seriously. This is awesome. Alright? So don't worry. Your emotions are all over the place. Take a few deep breaths. Meditate. Go outside. Relax and then just, you know, dig into your intuition. You got this. You'll come out victorious. I love it. It's like one of my favorite cards. Okay, because it means you are winning. You win. Awesome. Great. Thank you, group two. If this resonates with you, go ahead and comment down below and like and subscribe. You guys have a pretty awesome day. Thank you. Bye. Alright guys, so I realized I cut it out a little bit too early, and lastly I have is the pig spirit. Look at that. Use your mind wisely. What did I just tell you? Use your mind wisely. Your mind is, is a hell of a weapon, if you think about it, right? I mean, it's such a beautiful thing, and the pig spirit is, you know, I mean, usually when people think of pigs, is they don't really think of it as, you know, like a divine thing going on. But if you honestly think about it, pigs are very, very, very intelligent. Very gentle animals. So use your mind wisely when you are making your decision. And, you know, sometimes it's just a little bit, like I said earlier, like a leap of faith you got this you just need to dig a little bit deep right i mean it's like easier said than done but that's what you need to hear today go what's best for you and what the outcome is for you and plus hey how can you say no to a pig with wings seriously super cute sorry side note anyway Yes, so please, you know, I would say, like, go ahead and get that time out on yourself and set your clear intentions and what exactly that you want or who exactly that you want. Like I said, no judgment here, seriously. And you will get to, you know, your rightful decision. You become victorious in this. Okay? Thank you so much, guys. Um, 
if you have any comments or questions, please go ahead and comment below. Um, and uh, if this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Thank you all and have a good rest of your day. All right, guys, group three with the passion flower right here. It's actually one of my favorite flowers and I, all the flowers that I have today that I showcase today are from my garden. Don't worry, I don't actually throw the flowers away. I use them for something else. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're get started with the writer deck first. So let's go ahead and jump into it because we know it. Okay, all right, so we got two of wands here. The artist. Ooh, the well. All right now, three of swords. And ace of wands. I'm gonna go ahead and just move this down. Okay. I think you are longing to jump onto a project. I think this is a creative project. So, see a little bit over here, Two of Wands, how he's kind of like looking over, you know, into the, bit of, a little bit into the horizon. You got the sea there. I think that you have been like daydreaming or you know, thinking for a very long time of a particular project. And I think that, you know, it's kind of eating at you a little bit, right? I mean, you really want to go ahead and grasp this by the straws. And, you know, it's just, this could be like a something creative project or new job or you're thinking about even moving. I kind of, I don't know why I thought about moving, but maybe even going somewhere else, like, you know, the grass is greener on the other side sort of situation. But um, yeah, so the well is, you know, I rarely get the well, but it's, you know, about creative ideas. Sorry if it's not like getting into focus correctly. But it's really about inspiration, right? And it's telling me something, especially when you got the artist and the well together, is that you really need to follow your heart's desires and um, you've been thinking on it for some quite some time. Maybe this is a time for you to go ahead and start jumping into it, especially with the Mercury being in retrograde that, you know, sometimes that you just gotta take a leap of faith. It just boom. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said boom like I did, but yeah, you got exactly what you mean. But, um, or what I mean. Uh, that's what I'm kind of getting here. And you know what also, what also came to my mind is that you were thinking about something, maybe you need to start setting the intention for it. You know, um, maybe you start like sitting down and, and writing your intention uh, of exactly what you want is because you have this idea in your head and you really want to follow it. You really want this to flourish here. And I truly, truly, truly think that you just need to just start preparing, just jump on it. And this is the moment to do it. It's now. Yes, man, I love positivity. All right, here we go. Spread your wings. If this isn't clear enough for you, seriously, spread your wings. Moon cycles. Remember who you are. I know who you are, you're a badass. Boom. And clear audience. Notice, dude, loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Sorry, I went like way off screen here. You seriously, seriously, seriously need to look inside yourself and you need to start making decisions. You need to start spreading your wings. You need to, you know, go ahead, write this down. Listen, if you're thinking about writing a book or something or starting, jump on it. This is what it's telling you. Spread your wings, you got this. 
moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations. Dude, clear, like set your intentions today, right now. That's what you need to do. Remember, like, and you know, you are whoever chose this pile. You, I feel as though you probably have a pretty like strong mind. Um, maybe a little bit on the stubborn side, and it kind of takes you a little bit to get going. But I'm telling you right now. It, you need to get going. Do it. Ta-da, today. That's what, exactly what you need to do. Because, you know, yes, you have, every, like, your environment affects the way, you know, you look into things. But seriously, you, you need to soar. You need to break away from whatever that is holding you back. And you need to go over there and start kicking you know what some ASS because that's exactly who you are. You are the creative person. And lastly, electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. What? This can't be any clearer. Seriously. Yes. Eels. Yes, they are in they're like in reefs, like in hiding, but when they come out, dude, they they zip they zing. But you, you know what? You got this. Bringing your ideas to life. The world needs what you got. You got this. Pile three. Oh my goodness. If this isn't a wake up call for you, I don't know what it is. All right, guys. If you enjoy this reading or if it resonates with you, please go ahead and comment below and like and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.